Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about limited edition from Edward. It comes in 148 scale, it barely fits into our frame but it's quite big and it copies Tornado ADS. So as you can see it's a new limited edition with this uh, jet aircraft in German markings as far as you can see. So yeah, we have it in a German Air Force markings and we have here a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review. It will be quite an interesting thing to check because somehow we missed the previous limited editions with Tornado. So here we have a basically first chance in our history to check it. And it is interesting because it's limited edition which is based not on the Edward plastic. It actually features Revel plastic together with various add-ons from Edward. And it might be a good choice for modelers who would like to copy this aircraft in a large scale. So first of all, as I said, box is really big. Here you can see comparison with my hand. It's bigger than the standard uh, box for Edward Profi Packs, for example. Here on the side you'll find uh, seven marking options which are included here. We will talk about them later when we will be checking the assembly manual. But on the opposite side you can find also short list of the features. So as I said we have resin accessories, we have P parts, we have masks and of course we have Revel plastic inside. It's a top opening box so it's quite easy to open and here is what we have inside. I would say packaging is somewhat typical for Revel because as you can see everything is piled up into one plastic bag but we have also various accessories from Edward which are supplied in a separate plastic bags. So now I'm going to open this plastic bag with the plastic parts because we have not checked this kit from Revel and I think it will be interesting to take a closer look and then gradually we will move on to other components as well and I have to note that the plastic itself is really heavy there are a lot of parts and it will take some time to check everything so we are going to start with the clear parts and every plastic bag is sealed with the tape as far as you can see so here for example we have as I said, uh, transparent plastic sprue. And it is interesting because here we have the canopy. Unfortunately, mine is slightly pressed. It's not damaged, but as you can see, this main section was separate. Maybe it's because on one attachment point only. But molding quality overall looks really nice. And in my opinion, especially if we consider the fact that we have the masks applied here, so there is no issue whatsoever. And of course you can build the open cockpit on your model. In 148 scale it's quite an important thing because there are, will be plenty of stuff to expose on your tornado. And do not forget that we also have the uh, PE parts included here. So next we start with the grey plastic spruce. So here starts interesting things. So, first of all, this narrow sprue with a D letter on it. And maybe I'll close the lenses a bit so that it won't be that bright for you. Here we have external fuel tank, we have also landing gear wheels, we have engine nozzle here. We have also some parts for the missiles. But again, if you would like to have a really nice armament on your aircraft, it's better to go with original Edward Bracin accessories because they have a full set of the external armament for this aircraft and it would be a nice pick to uh, get it on your model. Next we continue, by the way this sprue which I just shown it is applied in two pieces. The same applies to this smaller one so here we have a mix of parts. We have parts for the pilot seat, we have landing gear wheels and everything looks nice but I think it would be also a wise idea to replace the pilot seat. But I think the pilot seat is supplied in the original box. I mean, as the resin accessory, we will check it a bit later. And there is one more sprue with external container. As you can see, there will be some loadout options and that's really cool because we get them as a standard out of the box inclusion. And again, as I said before, if you would like to get something more detailed on your model, you are always welcome to go on the official Edward website and get some uh, brushing accessories which will be even more detailed, but they will be obviously requiring some extra investment from your side. Next we continue with the large sprue which is dedicated to the wing parts. 
also am glad to see the one piece nose cone here as you can see that's really cool thing especially in such large size you won't have any gaps or seams and that will allow you to get a really nice result on your model and external features there are quite standard you can notice that we have recessed panel lines and rivets we also have here the uh, guiding elements guiding pins so they will help you with overall alignment next we continue with these special covers for the folding wings I'm not sure if there are several positions of the wing, we will have to investigate it in the assembly manual, but as you can see, pretty much the same design, and it looks quite good in my opinion. Uh, straight away I can say that I'm not a person who puts the model into the drawings, so if you have some data about the overall um, scalability of this kit, how it puts into the real drawings, I would be glad to hear in the comment section. Here we continue with this pro lettered N. So this one is dedicated to various pylons and attachment points. Next we have a sprue with the fuselage panel. It's quite interesting that this panel is molded like this. A really unusual shape, but maybe it will come handy in order to get a smooth connection between the fuselage panels. And one more sprue, so here we have the lower fuselage panel and also engine gondolas or air intake panels. So I have to zoom out here and maybe close the lenses a bit so that you can see what I'm talking about. We have the same level of the external features as what we saw on the wing. So there is nothing to be worried about, but again, kit is quite big. So you should keep it in mind, it will take some time to align all these large panels together. But it should be worth it, so I think just take your time and you'll be good to go. And by the way, yes, the pilot seats are supplied as a brushing here in this kit, so you shouldn't be worried about any issues with the appearance. Next, we have another plastic bag opened, so here we have even bigger uh, parts and the frame itself is bigger, so we have also the special hinges for the wings, I guess they will be movable, but again, uh, I would rather recommend to have these wings fixed in one position so that you have the proper finish on your model, but of course it is up to you, maybe you would like to have them movable, maybe for some transport purposes or something else. Next, we continue with another plastic sprue. So here we have parts for the tail section. Tail fin should be glued out of these separate panels. We have also separate rudder. We have here the nose landing gear wheel well as a one piece part. We have here instrument panel. Obviously it will get its own portion of the P parts. I would bet on it because we have the P parts here in this limited edition. And the last grey plastic sprue is actually dedicated to fuselage panels, cockpit tab and also wing parts. So here is the one piece cockpit tab. Of course you will have to sand it a bit in order to install the P parts, but I guess it should be worth it because it will bring you uh, more interesting features to your model. And that's why it's a good idea to spend a bit more time and get the nice finish. Next I'm taking out the first resin accessory, here we have the pilot seats and I will show you only one set of parts because they are absolutely identical, there is no point in showing them uh, both and it will take a bit more time to take them out so it's faster to take one out and show it closer, so here it is. It's a typical brushing seat and it's actually a good thing because it will, as you can see, give you a lot of features which are not supplied in the original plastic. And this main section of the pilot seat is actually molded as a one piece part which is really nice. Here we have also padding for the pilot, we have the separate handles and injection handle molded or casted out of resin. And there are also various uh, pipes which are also supplied for this pilot seat. But all this looks really good and in my opinion it will benefit even if you, you know, keep the canopy closed. And if you think that it will be barely visible, no, it should be noticeable through the canopy as well. As I said, there is also a second plastic bag with resin parts. So here we have the landing gear wheels. Again, I will show you only one main wheel and one nose wheel. And they are quite interesting because, again, they feature more things on themselves. So as you can see here, we have some details on the tire walls. If camera will be kind enough to focus, you will notice what I'm talking about. So here it is. 
And of course we have masks supplied here, so you shouldn't be worried that they are coming as a single piece parts. We have the uh, rear sections of the wheel rims, of the main wheel rims. As you can see they are coming as a single piece parts on the resin base. And here is the main wheel, which is also supplied as a single piece part. The only thing you have to install is the uh, center section here. As you can see, it was casted separately. But again, these are really nice bonuses, and I appreciate seeing them in 148 scale because it brings a noticeable change in this scale. It's, uh, I would say, large parts which um, gain or get your model a really nice uh, features which correspond to the real aircraft. Next I continue with P parts, so now I'm taking out two P frets. Yes, there are two of them for one aircraft. One is pre-painted, one is in the traditional golden color. So here is the traditional golden color. And that's a classic product for Edward as well, so there is nothing to be worried about. Here you can see the cockpit parts. Maybe for the cockpit parts some models uh, also do the matching of the color shades so that it will be more exact in comparison with the P part supplied. And here you can see also clear film for the target side, which is also a welcome bonus, because the target side will be assembled out of P parts. Next we continue with the masks. So masks are also standard for Edward. We have pre-cut stickers which are designed for use with the Clio parts and also with the landing gear wheels. So basically they are ready to be used straight out of the box. Now for the decal sheets. They are <laughs> really huge. They are the same size as the box itself, which is rather surprising I would say. And as far as you can see they are printed in Edward, so which is also I would say synonymous with a good quality and that means that you get all the necessary things out of the box. Now I'm just struggling to take it out of the plastic bag. Okay, so it is out. I'll start with the biggest one. Here we have various stencils for the aircraft. Maybe here we also have to close the lenses and zoom out so that you can see that we have a segmentation here and everything looks really good. As you can see we have the segmentation with the designations. So it means for example this section is only for auxiliary tanks. This one is for particular markings. We also have decals for the cockpit. So everything looks really good and well thought out. So that's something I appreciate in this design. And as I said, there is one more decal sheet, so this one is dedicated to the main symbols for the markings. They're really huge here, you can see comparison with my hand, but it's quite impressive printing quality and as you remember, Edward decals can be applied in two ways, so it will be up to you which one you choose. And the second one is a bit more for experienced modelers because it will require removing the carrier film and it might be tricky for some modelers without necessary experience. Next we continue with assembly manual. So it's a traditional Edward brochure, no history note surprisingly, I was expecting one. But here we have the parts map, colors chart, assembly process starts with the cockpit. As I said before, a lot of things in the original plastic will have to be modified in order to be replaced with the original uh, Edward PE parts. So be ready for this. In my opinion, this is the worth of the work involved because it will bring a noticeable change as I said before. Here you should also decide whether you would like to have wings in the folded or folded out position. And then we continue working on the tail section. We assemble also the engine area, which will also get the um, P parts for the afterburners. Also, you have to put the nose weight, and there is a small reminder about it, even though I think there is no mention on how many grams are needed. Yeah, it's just written do not forget to put the weight. Okay, so next we continue with the wing. And we install the wing mechanization as well. Here we start working on the um, air brakes as far as you can see. And then we continue with the assembly of the pylons, which are assembled out of several parts surprisingly. Here we continue with landing gear and wheel wells. 
Also, we install various parts into the uh, cockpit area. So here you will have to decide whether you would like to have open or closed canopy. By the way, there we have the marking or masking guide for the landing gear we use and for the canopy. And the final steps, they involve the fuselage pylons if you would like to have the fuel tanks or the under fuselage containers on your aircraft. So the first marking option comes from Germany 2002-2004, another one from 1986, one more from 2002-2003, and here we continue with aircraft from 1993, grey one. This one is a bit more interesting, it's from 2001-2002. Next, we have a Togimirit aircraft from 2006-2007, one more from 1999, and here we have the stenciling guide for the whole aircraft and armament, so be careful and follow all the instructions because it will be worth it on such large aircraft. So, of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today, and bye.